Okay, cool. Uh, all right. We have Stevie on tonight and I'm super excited um, to have her and to hear her thoughts. She's going to talk, excuse me, a little bit about getting to diamond and, and her goal of 99 days, as well as uh, the power of emeralds and how that helps your business. So um, I'm super excited and I've got my notebook ready. I, I'm excited to hear what you have to say. Um, and take it away. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself too? Because I actually don't know a ton about you. Except that you're sure. Fabulous. Yeah. So, um, so I'm married and I live in um, Leesburg, Virginia. It's just me, my husband, and the cat. Um, which is awesome. My dream life. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> the reason that I actually went into coaching was because um, I do live in Northern Virginia, and I'm a school counselor. I'm an elementary school counselor. My husband's a teacher. And we have an unbelievable amount of student loan debt. And um, I was working three jobs and <laughs> I was miserable and I was overweight. And I was like, okay, so what if I could lose weight, get healthier to have a kid and make enough money to pay for daycare slash my student loan bills, like whatever, take some of that monthly pressure off. Um, actually, when I signed up, Stacy Madrano is my upline. I was gonna buy a challenge pack and it took her months to get me to buy a challenge pack. Guys, I am that customer that says no to you a thousand times. Psychology from a friend, I borrowed a program. Um, I wanted to be in a challenge group, but I didn't wanna buy anything, you know, like the whole nine yards. Um, so once I did buy a program, Stacy was like, why don't you just sign up to be a coach? And I didn't know what the difference was, but she got me on the, you can save money on your Shakeology part. So I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Um, and then that week I got on my first team call and I don't even remember making the decision to actively coach. I just remember one day I wasn't a coach and the next day I was. So um, once I kicked it into gear, I was just going to kick it into gear. It's just what I did. Um, so Katie mentioned my um, Emerald in 99 days, or I'm sorry, my Diamond in 99 days. And um, I, I, I want to talk about that, but I want to kind of back up a little bit to get you to understand um, what pushed me to that, because it's really cool to hit diamond in 99 days. I've seen people do it faster, but um, that felt really cool for me, like a cool goal. And, um, but there was a reason, like I wasn't just, I wish I could say that I was just like this total rock star and I just decided I was going to hit diamond and it was all me and I was internally motivated and um, no. What happened for me was, um, well, well, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. So um, what I have found in this business, what I have to do is we talk about being authentic all the time, right? And like, that's the number one thing. If you're not being you, you're not going to attract the right type of people. Like I can put out any type of post and attract somebody, but if it's fake, it's not, I'm not going to be able to keep them. And what I want to do is build a family and retain people. So in order to be authentic, I had to figure out what my vital behaviors were. We talk about the vital behaviors in the business, um, and we know they've just added a fourth one, that recognition piece. Um, invite, 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 be a product of the product, and um, personal development. But I had to figure out what my personal or vital behaviors were, because to me, like, those were great guidelines, but I had to figure out what that meant to me, what lengths I was willing to go to, what I needed to do to make myself happy because that's a really important part of this business. If you feel like you're pouring from an empty cup, if you're not taking care of yourself in the process, you just can't possibly take care of other people. Um, so the first thing I did was took the gem test. Um, and I don't know if any of you guys were on the call I did a couple weeks ago for team positive, um, about the gem personalities, but, uh, they're huge. So if you haven't taken that quiz yet, figure that out. That's your homework. Um, but I figured out that I was a sapphire, like through and through a little bit of Ruby, but mostly a sapphire. Um, and they say a sapphire, uh, your perfect gift is a group experience or game. You believe rules were meant to be ignored, especially if they stop you from having fun. Um, you love being in the limelight. Your desk is a mess. You're always 10 minutes late. Your energy is contagious. You light up a room and you spread positivity. So I'm gonna um, show you guys my desk here, okay? Um, part of that is because we just moved, but to be honest, most of that is because my laptop still fits, so the rest of it's, it doesn't matter. Um, but I'm a sapphire, okay? So what did that mean for me? It meant that I was motivated by stuff, okay? It meant that I was motivated by 
having fun and having a good time and all these rules of the business, these invite three people a day or whatever, that didn't sound fun to me. So I had to make it fun for me, okay? Um, so the first thing I did was set up a reward system for myself, okay? If you hit a goal, you get this. If you drop a certain amount of pounds or inches, you get this. If you recruit this many challengers, you get this. Something on top of what Beachbody was already doing for us. Have you ever seen a company, by the way, that sends its coaches, like its employees, so much stuff? It's like constant. I swear to God, every, day, every three days I come home and there's a box on my doorstep. Um, but I wanted to do something for me too. So that was my first step. Um, and then my second step was to reach out to my coach, my coach, Stacy. Um, you know, what, what was she pushing for? And I found out that I had the potential to be her first diamond. Well, I was going to be her first diamond. <laughs> okay. Um, all things aside, that's what was going to happen. And if I could hit diamond, I could go on a retreat. So I signed up in February. There was a retreat in Charlottesville in May. It was going to literally cost me nothing but an hour and 45 minutes of gas money. Like, of course I was going to do this. Right. So the reason that I pushed for diamond had absolutely nothing to do with what it would do for my business and everything to do with what I was going to get out of it. Okay. So I totally had like not the business mindset about it. Um, but I sort of feel like because it was early on, that was okay. Um, I built my business. I built a strong team. I've still got some of those, most of those same coaches I signed in my first month as a coach because I was being authentic. I was being me. I was doing it my way. Um, so I hit diamond. I've stayed at diamond. Um, I'm actually, I have two diamonds of my own, um, but I'm not a two star because they didn't hold it enough at the same time. But um, so the whole, the whole hitting diamond thing, you want to do it. Okay. It opens up a ton of doors for you. I make more money now on cycles than I do on commissions. And it has really turned this into a business for me, but that's the paperwork stuff, right? Like that's not the fun. The heart of it, which is where I'm at, and I'm so all about heart, is that you have to find your why. And we say that a thousand times a day, and you've heard that before. But you really have to do, you really do have to figure out, like, what is going to motivate me? When I hit diamond, what will that tell me about myself? What, have, what am I doing? You know, did I hit diamond because Beachbody says you should hit diamond? Did I hit diamond because I knew Katie would love if I hit diamond? Did I hit diamond because to me... You know, I've done the math and I need that $18 bonus cycle instead of 14 or whatever, you know, figure out what it is that's motivating you. And I don't care if you have to like tattoo it on the back of your eyelids, like keep it in the forefront of everything you're doing. Um, because if you're not motivated by yourself, like nobody can do that for you. There's a lot of good reasons to do a lot of things, but you have to find the one that clicks for you. Um, so on to, um, sort of the things that make me successful, how I'm continuing to be successful. Um, if you guys don't have a success partner, that's something I would suggest as number one. Um, and there's, my first success partner was one of my coaches. She signed on with me like my first week. She's one of my diamonds. She's a rock star. She's my neighbor and she's great. However, after a while we stopped being good success partners for each other because She's a super emerald and I'm a super sapphire and I want like income, 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 income. And she's over here. Like she doesn't really need the income. She's just kind of having a good time and like enjoying helping people. And we weren't pushing each other enough anymore. So I had to break up with my success partner. That sucked. So I dumped my success partner. We're still friends. It's cool. Um, and I started dating. Okay. And, um, I've, I've found new success partners. I actually have two of them and we talk every single day. And I swear to you, like 50% of what I do in a week is because they push me to do it. Um, I posted a step outside your comfort zone coaching post tonight because they told me if I didn't, they were going to kick me out of the group conversation. Like, I mean, you got to find people who are going to push you the way that you need to be pushed. Some people, if they were told we're going to kick you out, if we don't do this, they'd be like, don't talk to me that way. You're not my success partner. For me, that worked. So um, find a success partner and do not worry about hurting feelings because if you're looking out for people's feelings, then you're not looking out for your business. You can be nice and still do what's best for you. It wasn't easy to break up with my neighbor, okay? Um, 
Uh, the next thing that I do that's super important to me is I love my team. Okay. I don't sign these women and now men, I have my first male coach, um, under me just so I can say, Oh, I have 11 coaches or whatever. I love my, my team and I want them to know that I love them every single day. And I spend probably way too much money mailing them like stupid stuff or I'll, I'll get on Amazon and send gifts. That's my love language. If I give somebody a gift, it means I think very, very highly of you. Um, recently all of the coaches on my team got these kale socks, um, just threw them in some envelopes and popped them in the mail, you know, didn't tell anybody they were coming. There was nothing about it. There was just a little note in there that said, thanks for helping, you know, change the world. And, um, that's it. So to me, that fills my cup up to do things for others. And so that's a big piece of what pushes me. Um, what else did I write here? took notes. It's as organized as I get. They're on post-its. Um, okay. So I talked about be a gem success partners. Oh, a system. Can I screen share for a second? Okay. Can you guys see my screen, my Facebook page? Hang on. Okay. Where'd it go? There it is. No, go away. Hang on. I'm waiting for the screen share thing at the top to disappear so I can click on the right tab. There we go. Okay, I use this funnel system. This is a blank copy and I can send it to Katie if you guys don't already have it. Um, it's totally changed how I reach out to people. So over here I put their names, a note about them. So maybe it's where they live, if they're in a different time zone, um, if they were a cold market reach, like whatever kind of information that I need to keep at the forefront of my brain. Um, and then the funnel system so cool. It literally like walks you through what you need to do to talk to each person. So you like and comment on a few of their posts because the way Facebook works is the more whoever, you know, you've got so many friends, you're going to see things from people who you're actively engaging with. So you start liking and commenting their pictures. They're engaging with you, you and your posts are going to start showing up in their feed. Um, wait two days. Okay. So it's literally like, I mean, it's got the timeline for you. Like, comment, message to connect with that person. Check your message history. Follow up and form. If you guys aren't forming people, read about how to do it. Do it. Um, it's how you talk to people without being like, hi, my name is Stevie. I'm a beach body coach by my product. Um, and then we continue to follow up in two days, in two days, in two days. Um, and then we have the invitation, all right? And then... Um, when they don't respond, if they don't respond, whatever their objection is, um, put them back in step one. Okay. So this thing, you should see mine. It's a, it's a mess obviously because I'm a mess, but, um, I mean, I have people like I had this one girl, Sierra. So it's like Sierra and there's a note about her that she's a runner. And then like, I got her through all my steps. And in step seven, it just has all of these, like, it looks like this, like, and then I, Moved her down here. And then it was like, Sierra, we started over again. So, um, you know, you just have to figure out your system, but that's one I really like. I wanted to share that with you because it was something um, kind of unique to me. So I can share that with Katie. I'll share the doc and then you guys will have the opportunity to use that if you want. Um, PD. Um, if you're not doing PD, I don't, you got to do that. Um, I always have two PD books going out of time. I have a fun book and I have a business book. Um, my fun book right now, <laughs> did you guys see this badass button that they came out with? You can do it. Do what you love. You create your reality. Be fear a suck it sandwich. You are a badass. So that's sort of my fun PD right now. I kind of carried that button around and hit people with it. Um, and then it came, they came out with a mini book. So that's like my favorite um, fun PD. And then my work PD right now I'm reading is No Excuses by Brian Tracy. And he is the guy that wrote Eat That Frog. And he's the reason I'm probably as successful as I am because, again, a sapphire tends to skip things that aren't fun. So if you guys are not reading PD, if you've not found something that works for you, 
Google um, motivational text, Google self-help, get on Amazon. Um, there's Girl Code. Shonda Rhimes has a new one called The Year of Yes that people are liking. Kate Hudson wrote a book that people are really liking. Um, start somewhere and figure out what works for you. Like in the beginning, I couldn't read a book. I needed to um, listen to my PD. So for me, it was the compound effect anytime I was getting ready for work in the morning. Um, just figure out what works for you. I have one of my coaches who like listens to Shaleen podcasts in the car every day. That's what she does for PD. Um, and then guys, something that people, I don't know if Katie, if you talk about this or not, I know that it's not off like in depth, but you need to know your lows. Um, you need to know not only that they are going to happen, you're going to have months where it is midnight on the 31st and you're, you know, sending up a prayer that we're on the East coast and you bought yourself an extra hour to get that success club point, or you're going to have the months where, you know, you've got two coaches that quit and they don't tell you anything. You just get that terrible email from, you know, coach relations that somebody dropped, or you're going to have the months that nobody is participating in your challenge groups. Um, they're going to happen, but you need to know yourself. You need to know how you react. You need to know, um, what you, and again, like what you want from this business so that you can push through those lows. Um, when Stacy first told me that I was like, it was May, I was on my retreat. I was making a ton of money. I was at success club 10 by like the fifth of the month. Um, you know, I was still deep, deep into my warm market. She was like, the lows are low. And I was like, Oh yeah. Like when you're really tired or you have a bad day. No, like the lows are low. Um, I straight up checked out from November to the middle of December. I wasn't posting. I gained like 15 pounds. I didn't hit success club. Like I was in a low and they happen, but don't give up on yourself. Like you need to know what causes your lows and how to get out of them. Um, that's super, super important. Um, I guess I want to talk a little bit about this emerald effect thing. This was sort of, I said to Katie, I was like, I have these like two topics and I don't know like which one you want to hear about. And she was like, both. So, um, the, I don't know if you guys know Jimmy Brenton. He is a friend of, um, Tony Horton's. He's actually Nikki Johnson's upline coach. Um, he is, um, in the 22 minute hardcore, um, deluxe DVDs, like in the workouts. Um, he did this call back in October called the Emerald effect. And I swear to you, it changed how I ran my business. Um, and I looked everywhere for the link. If I can find it, I want to send it to you guys because it was amazing. Um, but it talked about like how basically emeralds are how you guys are going to make your business, right? Like emeralds are how you go from being a coach to being a diamond coach to being a one-star coach and not just on taper because you have to have two emeralds, you know, whatever to be a coach, but emeralds really are how we make our business and they're how you start others in their business. And like, we know that, but the way he phrased it just made so much sense. And what he said was, um, hang on. He said, you need to understand that, um, when you're an emerald one week's team bonus. So if you cycle one time as an emerald, you all but cover your monthly coach fee. And so that means that after one bonus cycle, every single penny you earn on commission and volume is going towards you. All right. So anybody who's coaching, even a discount coach, who's like, I don't want to do anything with this. If you can get them to Emerald, not only are they saving money on their Shakeology, but they're getting their business fees covered because everybody's going to cycle once in a while. Like that's just how it happens. Um, he talked about how it's so easy to get stuck and think that you can't build a business because you can't, get these emerald coaches under you. And that's really like, that's what you, you have to have emeralds. You just do. Um, but it makes so much sense. Like I don't, once I heard that call, I didn't really understand how anybody would ever not get to emerald. Right. Um, because you know, covering your business fees, your money going towards your Shakeology and you never know, like even a discount coach, if they decide to sign somebody under them who decides to make a business out of it, like they're going to make a ton of money for doing basically nothing. Like, Jimmy has Nikki. There you go. And Jimmy gets to do everything because he has Nikki basically. So I always say just like get to Emerald for yourself. Um, 
one of my diamonds, I couldn't get her to Emerald forever. I finally talked her into seeing her husband. Six weeks later, she's a diamond. She was like, oh my gosh, that made so much sense. I wish I'd listened to you sooner. Um, you know, the Emerald effect is, it's huge. I mean, you're covering your business fees. You are actively coaching. You have a chance to make money. You, even as a discount coach, you know, are going to start seeing the benefits of coaching, even if that's $14 once a month because everybody under you is ordering, you know, you've got two discount coaches under you. It, it pays for itself to become an Emerald is essentially what he was saying. And it just made so much sense. And so we started this um, push to Emerald group. Um, but this was back in October. It worked really well, but we made this list of Emerald ethics and it was sort of, um, the idea, the same idea as the vital behaviors, but the Emerald ethics were, I will invite two to three people a day to challenge groups. I will read or listen to personal development every day. I will message current challengers about the coaching opportunity weekly. I will post to social media three to five times a day, every day. I will be authentic and I am an Emerald. You have to think that and know it. So I know I like rambled a lot, but I guess if I had to give you guys like a message that I want you to take away and sleep on, it's like, how do I be a beach body coach and still be me? Like, how do I make this business me? Not how do I be Bonnie Engel? How do I duplicate her success? Not how do I become the next Melanie Maitre? You know, how, not, not how do I become Katie? That's not your job. That's not what you're here to do. Your job is to figure out how to be, become you and how to own being you and how to take being you and turn that into something. You guys are here and you're on this call and that means that you care. And that means that there's something somewhere in you that says like top coach. All right. So the fact that you guys are even here on this call means that you've got it in you to do all of this because you wouldn't show up if you didn't. So take it and run with it and just figure out what it is that lights your fire. That's it. That's all I have. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was unbelievable. Your passion is awesome. Um, seriously. I, I loved everything that you talked about. I too feel just as strongly as you do about success partners. Um, mine get me through everything, the, the hardest days. Um, and yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. And uh, that seven step funnel system, I hadn't seen that before. So I would I definitely will look into that. Um, but I wanted to know, you said you reward yourself for, you have a reward system for yourself. Do you have it like yeah. a daily thing with like your power hour or something like that? Like, what do you usually give yourself? Like, is it like a mani pedi or treat or just the, the enjoyment <laughs> yeah. of it? Yeah. So, um, I am a regular mani pedi girl, mostly mani pedis were gone for the winter and I don't know. <laughs> My lady's fantastic at manicures, but pedicures, I can probably do just as well myself. I do. <laughs> I reward myself. Um, every two weeks I go get my nails done as long as I feel like I can say to myself, okay, yes, at least five days this week, you worked out, you did your shake, you did your power hour, you know, as long as I'm not like off the wagon. Yeah. Um, yesterday I went on a shopping spree at Lily Pulitzer, which was probably a mistake, but, um, <laughs> you know, I also knew I was getting paid today. Like that's the nice thing about beach body is not only do you know you're getting paid, but you know what you're getting. Exactly. So, um, and that for me was because I signed all, all of my success club points this month have been coaches. Perfect. Um, so that was a huge thing for me. Um, it's just little things that I reward myself with. Um, I also just bought this body butter from Trader Joe's. Like it was $6, but it made me really happy. So, um, yeah, I sort of set up like a weekly reward system. Like I look at payday and after I've put my money aside for taxes and I've, you know, paid a credit card bill or whatever, then I look at what's left over and I say like, what am I going to do for me? Because I didn't go into this business to set more rules. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Um, my sister is a Sapphire. Bonnie Ingalls is a Sapphire. Amy Silverman is a Sapphire. Uh, sapphires have some awesome, huge, awesome personalities and you just, they just need like the, they need exactly that, the funnel. Like, I'm just like, we got to just focus here. Let's focus. <laughs> um, but when you're talking about PD, the Brian Tracy's book is awesome. Um, but one thing about the highs and lows, um, they were talking about this weekend was entre leadership. No, the entrepreneur roller coaster. I'm sorry. Yes. Entrepreneur roller coaster. And that it, they say is really good. I haven't read it. They just, I'm going to, they said, if you, 
for exactly that, for those high highs and low lows and how to deal with it in this business. If you get into those ruts and don't know how to get back out of them, the entrepreneur roller coaster is supposed to be amazing for that. And when you hit one of those lows, that's such a great, like the roller coaster is such a great um, metaphor because Mm -hmm. when you hit one of those lows and you start to realize it, like you do, you feel that drop in your stomach and you feel like, you know, life weighing you down. Mm -hmm. Like it's really a good metaphor for how those lows can feel. Yeah. Does anybody have any questions for Stevie or anything right now? That was a ton of information and I'm super psyched. Yeah. I'm um, sorry to just like ramble. I, um, I'm great at talking and I'm not always so great at like hitting on my points. So ooh. I wanted to make sure that I covered everything. No, I thought it was perfect. And, you know, honestly, at the beginning, I think every coach feels at least I did about the being authentic part because you know, we're, we're kind of just emulating the people and doing their posts. And it's so easy to get lost and forget who you are and forget what you're doing. And, uh, there've been a lot of times, um, where like, I see myself going towards my success partner's goals, not my goals. And I'm, and then I'm like, well, reel it in. That's not my point. That's not what I'm my purpose is there. I'm here to help them with their goals, but these are my goals and little things like that. I think, um, you know, we're pushing like for to be an elite team right now. And I had to seriously sit down and be like, is that what I want? Or is that what those other girls want? Or do I just want it because that's the cool thing to do when everyone's doing it, you know? Um, right. And if it matched up with my goals. Um, so I think that's super important for people to think about how can I be a beach body coach and be myself because that takes a lot of PD. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you know, um, I just to kind of share like a little bit of a personal story with you guys. When I, started coaching um, and really my whole life like I've always been told like oh Stevie talks too much or Stevie you know in middle school it was that I gave everybody hugs like I just I have this huge personality and I have spent most of my life apologizing for it um, and really not feeling okay about it like I really for most of my life have felt like I always needed to be being somebody different than me to be accepted Um, I have only figured out how to um, be okay with being me, how to get on a call here and not lie to you guys and be like, oh, and I'm super organized and this is my, you know, like I have only figured that out maybe in the past like six months. It doesn't, you know, it's not like you sign that coach form and all of a sudden you've got it all figured out. You don't. No, that's awesome. Bonnie Engel also does her organizational things on post-it notes. Just like, so, so you're on the right track <laughs> and so does my, so does my sister. I mean, so my mother, you're on the right track in the app. Perfect. Oh yeah. I have posted notes everywhere. I've got like eight of them on my laptop for things I'm supposed to do this week. Like, <laughs> That's amazing. Um, so let's see. Um, we'll talk about everything from this week at this past week, um, on next week's call a little bit and I'll be posting more in the group. Our Wi-Fi was like spotty. So, um, it was, it was hard staying connected, but the week, this week was amazing. I had so much fun. I learned so much from everyone. Um, I had fun <laughs> literally like it was, it was nothing like summit. So I don't know if any, I don't know. Did you go to summit last year? Stephen? No, I didn't Yeah. No. So summit is like all intensive. Like you are using your brain for the 18 to 19 hours a day. Like it is nonstop, um, learning and bonding and like crying and figuring out yourself. Summit is like, I mean, sorry, uh, the success club trip is super fun. A little bit of learning, a lot of working out, um, but also nonstop. So, uh, it, this week was my highest week I've ever had ever in, in almost two years. And I was barely, you guys saw me, I was barely on my phone. Like uh, that's all I had. I didn't have my computer. We had Wi-Fi sometimes not day support. So like to make, to know that I can like make it work in other places and the, that it still works. And I didn't you know, you guys held up the team page and, um, you know, helped answer questions and stuff. So it, it was nice to be able to step away for a little bit and enjoy things. Um, but honestly I, I like summit better. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why, maybe because more of my success partners were there or they all were and none of them were here. Um, but I met new people and got to hang out with Nikki and, and Becca and all the, you know, a lot of top dogs. So that was, that was pretty fun. I met all the trainers, um, pictures with a couple of them. So it, it was just a different experience. It was really small. You know, there are only 6,000 people compared to like 26,000 at summit. Um, so it was more intimate, but, uh, I think 
Punta Cana is going to be pretty awesome because they, they treat us very well and take care of us. And it's extraordinarily fun. And there were only two real training things. And I can't, I couldn't even keep up with all the things that Carl talked about um, with the country heat and the orange flavored recover. Um, a ton of stuff is going on with BOD. Um, I'm going to post it all once I go through my slides that I took yeah. pictures of, but yeah, they're coming out with, um, you can like download seven workouts at a time. So you don't even have to have Wi-Fi on your phone or computer, wherever you do it. Um, Autumn's coming out with like a cooking series once a week. The twenties is, um, a new reality TV show that's literally going to be on TV to find out the next trainer. Um, they're coming out with Brazilian butt lift too. Um, and they think, yeah, they think that's going to be released at summit. They said there are a couple, um, that are going to be on demand, but I think it's going to be released at summit. Oh. Joel and Jericho are going to have a workout coming out. So it's a lot of new stuff to get new people, but I think country heat, at least like for my people, like I told my mom, who's never even like looked at me for a program and she's like, oh, I want to do that. And I was like, okay, all right, let's do it. So I know I thought honestly, like my first reaction was like, okay. <laughs> and then I posted about it and people were like, Oh yeah. Like seriously. <laughs> I don't looks, understand you. It, I love country music and I suck at dancing though, but it looks like so much fun. Same. Um, I mean, I'm definitely, obviously I'm going to try it, but yeah. well, I hope you had a blast on the cruise. I couldn't go because it's my first year in my job and spring breaks next week. So mm -hmm. I couldn't take this week off. And next year, if everything goes to plan, I'll be like way too pregnant to go to Punta Cana. Oh, yay. That would be very exciting. <laughs> there work with some quite pregnant people in, um, on the cruise, but they stay, they didn't go off port because they were afraid of the Zika virus. Yeah. That's another reason I didn't go yeah. this year. So. Yeah. They, they were fine. There were some crazy stories about the cruise. Like I'll tell you guys all about it soon, but like. I'm coming on your team call if you're going to talk crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Like uh, the first day we were there, we, it took us like two <gasps> hours. A guy tried to commit suicide off the boat, a worker. They had to turn the ship around at one point and go back to Nassau. Nassau or Jamaica. I can't remember which one. Um, because they told us that a crew member was sick. We don't actually know the real reason they, people are saying that 70 people were left behind. Um, a, a couple fell off of a scooter in Jamaica and the guy had to have collarbone surgery and ankle surgery in Jamaica and couldn't a come beach back. body person. Yeah. And couldn't come, can't just made it back to the States today. Couldn't come back to the States or on the ship or anything until he paid all of his medical fees mm -hmm. in Jamaica and they wouldn't let him leave without the surgery. Um, and he has a GoFundMe page that already has $11,000 on it right now. But, um, there was someone whipped out their man parts at a show. There was like this game show and like, everyone's like got well not everyone i'm gonna i'm gonna edit this video by the way to like end before this conversation <laughs> but someone i guess on the wall like the five star and above wall a certain coach posted like how inappropriate it was like as if beachbody had any control of it they're, that their coaches are never going on a success club trip again and i was like ah, there was lots of calm down it was fun <laughs> um but it was just fun to be honestly my favorite part was just being with everyone and bonding and talking like and we honestly didn't talk a ton of like work stuff it was more like life stuff which is the complete opposite of nashville um so that was by far my favorite part is just to meet the girls and and talk to people i hadn't really gotten to talk to that you just see every week so well katie i can't wait to meet you in nashville i'm super excited i'm so excited <laughs> it's been fun yeah. chatting and getting to know you and stuff and the rest of your team i hope that i see all of you guys there thank you you taught us so much and thank you for help the help with the gem stuff uh, on the other call too that was amazing and i yeah. talk about it all the time so and if you um, guys ever have any questions reach out add me as your friend on facebook um you know just i love like expanding my world because beach body or not like the more people i just I love it. So <laughs> you're the best. Your energy is the best and you're doing a great job. Thank you for coming on mm -hmm. and everyone. I will see you guys next week. And thanks again, Stevie. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me anytime. Bye guys. Bye, guys. Thanks. Bye. Bye.